Welcome to this tutorial on creating an ORM texture map in Affinity Photo. ORM maps are used in physically based rendering or PBR workflows to control a material's ambient occlusion, roughness, and metalness. First, open Affinity Photo and create a new document. The size of your texture map will depend on your needs, typically something like 2048 by 2048 or 4096 by 4096 pixels works well for most game projects. Make sure your background is transparent so we have a clean slate to start working with. Now let's import the base textures we'll use to create our ORM map. You should have three separate textures, an ambient occlusion or AO map, a roughness map, and a metalness map. Let's start by importing the ambient occlusion map. AO simulates how much ambient light a surface receives, and it's usually represented by a grayscale image where the white represents the raised surfaces and black represents the shadows. Next, let's import the roughness map. This controls how smooth or rough a surface appears, affecting how light interacts with the material. Roughness is also typically represented as a grayscale map, where white represents a rough surface and black represents a smooth one. Now let's import the metalness map. This map controls how metallic a surface is. In most PBR workflows, white represents a fully metallic surface and black represents a non-metallic surface. Now we're ready to combine all three maps into one ORM texture. The most common format for this is to use the red, green, and blue channels for different properties. Red channel for ambient occlusion, green channel for roughness, and blue channel for metalness. We'll copy each map into the corresponding channels. To do this, select the AO map layer and use Control A to select the AO map layer. Then Control C to copy the AO map. Now go to the channels panel and paste the AO map into the red channel by selecting it and pressing Control V. Using Control D deselects the map. Repeat this process for the roughness and metalness maps. Copy the roughness map into the green channel and the metalness map into the blue channel. Once your ORM map is ready, it's time to save it. Go to File, Export, and choose PNG or TGA as your file format. Give your texture map a meaningful name like ORM underscore map and save it in the desired location for use in your game engine. Now you can import your ORM texture map into your game engine. In Unreal Engine, import your texture maps. Open the ORM texture map and deactivate the sRGB parameter. Make a new material and drag in your texture maps. Connect the base color and normal maps to their respective inputs. Connect the red channel to the AO shader node input. Connect the green channel to the roughness shader node input. Connect the blue channel to the metallic shader node input. By using this ORM texture map, you can create more realistic materials that respond correctly to lighting and the environment in your game. And that's it, you successfully created an ORM texture map in an Affinity Photo. Now you can use it to enhance your materials and bring them to life in your 3D projects. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials on texturing and 3D workflows.